Life Audio. Hello. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for our lives. I'm your host, Grace Fox, and I'm inviting you to visit my website to learn more about my books and speaking ministry. You'll find me at gracefox.com. If you sign up for my weekly devotional blog and monthly update, you'll receive a free gift from me to you. Again, that's gracefox.com. And now, after this short word from our sponsor, we'll dive into today's Bible verse, Zephaniah 3.17. Today's Bible verse is Zephaniah 3.17. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exult over you with loud singing. Three weeks after my youngest daughter delivered her first child, I had the privilege of staying with her for several days while her husband had to be out of town. We worked out a wonderful system where I rose early to get ready for the day while she fed the baby. Then she'd pass the baby to me and go back to bed for more rest until the next feeding. I loved it. I loved every minute holding my precious newborn granddaughter. I cradled her, calmed her, prayed over her, and sang songs like Jesus Loves Me over her. My love for my granddaughter ran deep that week, and it still does, but it doesn't compare to the depth of God's love for you and me. Today's verse describes it so beautifully. Let's look at it phrase by phrase to understand it best, but first, let's look at the context in which it was written. Zephaniah 3.17 was written to reassure Israel of God's covenant of love. They had rebelled against him, and he had pronounced judgment on them, but he would not utterly destroy them because he cared so deeply for them. In mercy, he would restore them to relationship with himself, again, like he'd done so many times before. So now, let's do that deep dive into each phrase to see what we can learn about God's love for his people then and now. First, The Lord your God is in your midst. These words contain so much encouragement that we could stop right here and feel like our souls have been fed. The Lord, the Lord, is Almighty God, creator of the universe and sustainer of life. He is the self-existent one, dependent on no one. He is not some foreign entity out there, an impersonal God too busy to stoop and hear his children's cries. He is a personal God, the Lord your God. He desires relationship with us. He initiated spiritual intimacy, and he made it possible through the work Jesus did on the cross for our sake. This living, loving, almighty, personal God is in our midst. I will never leave you or forsake you, he promised his people throughout the Old Testament. Jesus repeated the same before he departed earth for heaven. Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. He made this promise, and then he sent the Holy Spirit to fulfill it by coming to dwell in his followers. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. God's heart is to save mankind from their sin. Jesus came for that purpose. He came and dwelt among us and declared, For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. He also said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. This mighty God came to earth to save us from our sin, 
from shame and fear and addictions, from unforgiveness and anger and jealousy, from our own stubborn hearts, from selfishness and foolishness. He saves us because we cannot possibly save ourselves. He will rejoice over you with gladness. Sometimes we envision God as the big guy who sits in the clouds and waits for us to mess up because he's eager to punish us. That's a wrong understanding of who he is and and of his heart toward us. He rejoices over us even as the angels rejoice over one sinner who repents, who turns from going his own way to following Jesus. He will quiet you by his love. Worry and fear disturb and upset us, but God's love calms us, and rightfully so. He proved his love for us when he did the hardest thing ever on the cross. A love that goes to that measure is a love we can fully trust. This God who died for us and who rejoices over us will never disappoint or betray us. He will never give up on us, and he will never allow anything to come between him and those he loves. How certain can we be of this truth? One hundred percent. The Apostle Paul wrote, For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, or depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. This love, this love that runs deeper than our human minds can comprehend, calms our worries and fears when we draw near to its source. And finally, the phrase, He will exult over you with loud singing. Here is God the Father singing over his people who have recognized their sinful ways and returned to him. He's not chastening them or chewing them out. He isn't reminding them of all the things they did wrong and threatening them with further discipline if they don't smarten up. He's rejoicing in their return like the father rejoiced over his prodigal son who returned home from his waywardness. My friend, Satan often tries to paint in us a mental picture of what God's love looks like. He'll plant seeds of doubt in our minds, doubts that say God is distant and doesn't care about us, doubts that say God is out to get us. When he does this, let's remind him of the truth. Personalize Zephaniah 3.17 and speak it out loud. The Lord my God is in my midst, a mighty one who has saved me and who will save me from evil. He rejoices over me with gladness. He quiets me by his love. He exults over me with loud singing. Speak it as though you believe it's true, my friend, because it is. Let's pray. God, your great love amazes us. The fact that you delight in us and sing over us leaves us humbled and in awe. Thank you for being in our midst. Thank you for saving us from our sin and saving us from evil. When we feel afraid, please remind us that the depth of your love for us makes you completely trustworthy and then calm us. Teach us to love you as you deserve and to rejoice in you as you rejoice in us. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Bible Verse is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Thank you.